Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. For the greater good, we've got an incredible commission showcase for you guys today. We have in all their glory, Command of Farsight and the Eight, plus some extra commanders, loads of drones also. So a really, really awesome uh, an iconic commission for you guys to check out. This whole project has been completed by Fletch, one of the artists here at Siege. Let's jump in with the main man himself and let's have a look at Commander Farsight in all his awesome glory. Uh, a really, really cool model uh, that we've had the absolute pleasure of working on. Fletch has done a lovely job on this miniature. Uh, I love the fact that the, uh, the Dawn Blade has been done in a green to sort of complement that red really nicely with lovely amounts of sort of lightning effects painted across the, uh, the sword, which is really, really cool. All the little lights and things all fully painted on his armor. You've got that uh, Farsight Enclave symbol that's also been painted across many of the sort of tower symbols on this uh, this force as you'll see as it goes around. Lovely green sort of glow just on Commander Farsight's head there on the lens. Uh, you've got some freehanded markings just on the arms and also on the head uh, and around the back which is really really awesome. So just a great uh, sort of uh, force to add this miniature to. Uh, really really awesome awesome model. So that's just Commander Farsight from the start. Next up, we have a lovely selection of the eight, uh, and we're going to start with Commander Bravestorm, a really, really cool miniature, just with an awesome pose on him. Uh, looks like he's ready to engage another foe, which is just great. Uh, again, you can see all the little details, all the little sort of tower symbols painted across the miniatures, uh, and again, the Bravestorm has got that as well. You can also see the Farsight Enclave symbol that's been painted on the sort of tower symbol on the armor as well, which just works really, really nicely. So that's this awesome, awesome uh, miniature Commander Bravestorm. Uh, I'll just put him back. Uh, again, lovely selection of different poses in these guys as well. Next one we're going to have a look at is Commander Bright Sword. Again, double, double melter on him. So he can, uh, he's got that famous thing where he puts them together and uses them essentially like a blade, which is just really, really cool. Uh, just looking like he's bearing on a new target. You've got all the uh, sort of towel white symbols on him as well. Uh, plus some loads and loads of little details across all of his armor. Some weathering done with some of the paintwork. And again, you've got that Farsight Enclave symbol that's just been painted on the uh, the towel sort of symbols on the uh, on the on the sort of uh, sculpts as well. Uh, so this is just this awesome, awesome miniature. Uh, the one thing I do really, really like, as you can just see on the head, is that really subtle green glow. Uh, it just makes the miniature work extremely well and um, just complements that red really nicely. So that's him. Uh, next chap we're going to have a look at is Shav Astos. Uh, really, really awesome, awesome sort of defiant character. Uh, in a sort of uh, using his shield there just to protect himself, uh, as you can see, and again that lovely green glow on the head, uh, just with his uh, plasma rifle and flamer combination. Uh, but Fletcher's done a lovely job of just highlighting this and giving it a really, really nice sort of zenith kind of look, uh, which is just really, really cool and fits very much with the kind of like um, sort of town narrative. I think it's just awesome. So that's him. And then the next chap we're going to have a look at is the Commander Aracon of the Eight. Uh, really, really cool. He's just uh, larger and using one of these sort of uh, Commander suits here, as you can see, rather than a normal sort of uh, suit. Uh, all the extra little details on his armor, the little lights and things, all fully painted. Again, on his chest, you've got that uh, Farsight Enclave symbol that's just been painted on, uh, which just works quite nicely. I do love the fact that on the feet, you've got that nice, subtle uh, sort of uh, dinge to it, where it's obviously got the sort of um, basing has just been sort of mashed with it, which looks quite nice uh, just to give it the sort of it's the time between the miniature and also the base uh, so that's this awesome awesome commander again you can see those lovely glow effects there just on the uh, on the, the lenses on the sort of head and also on the chest and either side of the head and those little lights left and right of that uh, just works extremely extremely well and that's commander Aracon of the eight um, again I do want to know in the comments which one of the eight is your favorite so please do make sure you drop some comments below the next one is really really cool we've got the broadsides uh, which is uh, oh, I can't pronounce this properly, but it's Ob to Oblati. So it's uh, it's uh, really really cool. Backstory to him as well is really awesome. If you do know the eight, uh, again the same sort of thing on this miniature with all the lights and everything all fully painted and that green subtle glow. You've got the far sight enclave a symbol that's just been painted on where the tower symbol is. Uh, again little bits of, sort of weathered sort of uh, symbols and things just on the miniature and on the legs and things. Lovely subtle green glow on the reactor of the broadside. 
I do really like that the uh, the missile pods are all picked out in a white, just to complement the head also. But uh, again, a really, really awesome, awesome miniature of the eight. Uh, and then we're going to have a look at uh, the next chap, which is uh, Commander Torchstar, or Sub Commander Torchstar, should I say. Uh, and he would obviously load it out with a double flamer, just to make sure that nobody gets near him. Again, really, really cool, just pointing and firing at a target. Uh, Fletch took a lot of reference from the, the eight artwork and uh, in regards to the poses and tried to match the poses as, as best as physically possible also uh, so do really really like that that that's been incorporated into the miniature you've obviously got the far sight symbol there you can see just painted onto those tower symbols which is just brilliant so that's him and then next up we're going to have a look at Ovesa of the eight which is the riptide again a really cool pose something a little bit different that fletch has gone for on this chap uh, in the sense of the uh, sort of the running pose that he's got looks like he's using his shield to sort of protect himself while he's bringing that sort of weapon to bear which is really really cool again you've got that far sight symbol just painted onto the shield uh, which just works really nicely little subtle green glows on some of the lights and runes all these weathered tower symbols across the shield and the armor and everything uh, but just a really really lovely lovely miniature nice spattering of weathering on the gold so it looks like he's uh, been thick and fast amongst the enemy uh, but that's just the awesome ovessa of the eight which is the um the riptide uh, and then next up we're going to have a look at the two other just commanders which go with this force uh, we have this awesome awesome chap here uh, again the amount of melters this guy's packing you just do not want to get near him uh, <laughs> absolutely firing away the pose is, is brilliant just looks like he's really really like maximum firing on one target again you can see a lovely subtle green glow on the head uh, just moving around you can see all the little details I love the little grey, grey bands on some of the uh, bits of armour as well just to denote that sort of greyish colour way as well which is really cool uh, again you've got the weathered sort of tower symbols just on the uh, on the top of uh, the suit and also on the guns so that's just this awesome commander and then the final chap that we'll have a look at before we just grab forward a spattering of the drones is this chap here which i love the pose uh, just literally unloading everything with the missile pods uh, and you can see obviously the lovely subtle green glow on all the little gems and lights and things as you'd expect from what you've seen in the previous miniatures even the little lights on the back of the armor have all been painted also uh, do really love the weathered gold on these guys as well it's uh, really really nice little attention to detail on those areas so that's just the final commander then we have a spattering of drones as i mentioned so there's a variation you've got obviously some missile drones some uh, marker drones plus also some gun drones so i'll pull one of each forward so you can have a look this is just one of the uh the marker drones again you can see all the lenses all there all the lights all painted as well uh, you've even got the uh you've got the eight symbol just there on the uh, side of the gun which is really nice little touch uh, so that's just uh one of the marker drones uh, also got some shield drones uh so you're just going to see shield drone here with those gray sort of colorway added on there plus some weathered tower sort of markings also which just works quite nicely and pull forward one of the uh, the gun drones so you can have a gun drone and then the final one to come after this will be a missile drone but a really super super clean uh, slightly weathered um, sort of finish to them as well but clean in the execution of the edge highlights and all those details and then we'll pull forward a missile drone so you can have a look at one of the missile drones but yeah really really lovely set of uh, Tau miniatures that are now off to go and expand the Tau empire for the name of Farsight and the Farsight Enclave thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. 
While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.